Hey guys, welcome back to Blue Line Fishing. Thanks for joining me today. Your time's important to me, and what we're going to do in that time today is going to give you a little look at this 1960s era John Boat trailer that we restored. I think you're going to like it. Stick around, it's going to be good. Hey guys, before we get rolling on this video, just wanted to give a big shout out to Scott Brown. He's the other half of Blue Line Fishing, uh, best friend, also uh, the guy that I fish with all the time, fishing partner, fish tournaments with. Uh, if you want to check out his boat, he's got a 2020 Bass Tracker Classic XL that I did a video on here on Blue Line Fishing. I'll put the link on that down in the description. And with that, let's get going and check out this trailer. All right, guys. We're going to dive into this trailer, check it out. Uh, you know, the way this started was a buddy of mine bought a John boat, a 1962 John boat is what it was, and it was sitting on this trailer. Originally, we were just going to throw some paint on it, uh, maybe redo the bearings, some new tires, and that was it. Well, one thing led to another, and we kind of got a little carried away with it. Came out looking pretty neat. It's got kind of a retro look to it. We don't actually know what year the trailer is, but uh, with that being said, we'll take a look here, and I'll show you what we did to it. All right, guys, the first thing we did is, um, you know, this. I'll show you some video here. The the trailer itself was really kind of rusted up, chewed up, this nasty blue color, um, paint was peeling and chipping off a bunch of it. So we gave it a brand new coat of black paint here. And then uh, what we did after that was we actually went in, re sanded, kind of finished down, sanded down the jack and the hitch and then rewired the entire thing too. And I'll show you a little bit more about the wiring here in a second. Uh, going back here, we put a brand new hand winch on it the other one was just rusted to pieces it really wouldn't work it was a hunk of junk and we're not really sure what this was but i think it's like an old mailbox slot uh, it was used by the previous owner to keep the boat registration title in trailer title things like that we put a new lock on it and ended up uh, got a spare plug in there some marker buoys and things like that so that's what we did coming back here a little bit these bow bunk boards redid those and i'll show you a video here too um, we because the old ones were just covered in vinyl real junky so we uh, put new brand new wood in there new cross bolts and put the carpet on there it came out looking real nice and as we move back a little more went ahead and put running lights on it uh, didn't have them before but figured that's something we're going to need for coming home after dark or leaving early in the morning and then as we get back here a little further so we come back here a little further and you see these old fenders uh, we actually sanded those down a little bit repainted those and stayed with kind of the retro looking cream color that kind of uh, old-fashioned look to it uh, brought brand new tires for it and also changed the trailer bearings out I'll show you a little bit on that and we also repainted the rims on it and we'll come here to the back so when you come here to the back you can see these old-school fenders have this kind of cool flare on it right there uh, like I said, we repainted those, nice new coat of paint on those, and the lights we were going to put just when I ordered the trailer kit that had the running lights, we were going to actually just put a, uh, the, uh, the trailer lights on the back of it. What we decided to do was keep the original look to it, so we sanded down, repainted these, and actually bought new lens covers. They were kind of tough to find, but Scott was able to find them. And inside is a 6 ohm resistor and an LED light that illuminates the brake lights, so I uh, got a little bit modern on that. But we thought they came out looking uh, pretty nice, just like I said, uh, something that got out of hand. We thought originally we'd just put some new paint on this, some trailer bearings, maybe some tires. But uh, as we got looking at it, more and more we wanted to do to it, uh, and here we are. So we get into the very back section here, and you can see the old keel rollers on it. There's three, and you probably don't need keel rollers. Well, you don't need keel rollers, actually. Bunk boards would be just fine for a John boat, but that's what it had. But we replaced um, all three of the keel rollers because they were dry rotted. And Scott actually went in and the axles that were steel were all rusted up, nasty. He milled brand new axles out of aluminum, brand new keel rollers on that. Uh, repainted the, uh, the rollers on the side and redid those as well. And uh, actually when it's all said and done, I thought it came out pretty snazzy for just an old school boat trailer for a John boat. A little carried away maybe, but uh, we're happy with it.
Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thanks for joining me. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, please give me a like and subscribe. And if you don't mind hitting that bell notification button, I'd appreciate that as well. Appreciate everybody's support out there. Appreciate you taking the time today to watch this video. Stick around on Blue Line Fishing. We're going to have some really good videos coming up in the next couple weeks as well. And don't forget, get out there and fish.